What's up everybody? It is the best spot kiss moving them back with another video and I know I'm late on talking about this um, Xbox I think at, I think on Thursday um, Announced their um, Xbox Bethesda game showcase for 2022. I think the video I think in podcast uh, playing Xbox We talked about they might being a split showcase, but it looks like they're doing the showcase together um, I added this show to my calendar and it looked like it's gonna be 90 minutes long and I'm hoping that's enough time to get what we need or what I want to see. So it's always exciting this time or uh, this time of year to get uh, to see what's going on with Xbox. The Xbox has been very, very quiet. You know, PlayStations have had state of place. Nintendos have had their things, their streams and whatnot. And and Xbox is crazy because the thing is, is that they have so many studios between Bethesda and and Xbox Game Studio and Xbox Global Publishing. There's so much things in the work. So it's just like, come on, you guys got more games in production than Nintendo and Sony combined. That we know for sure. And then they're about to reel in the Activision Blizzard. So, you know, that's going to be even more. But I think this is the last year, you know, that we'll get like these once in a while things. I think uh, Xbox has set themselves up for next year where they're going to be doing multiple showcase where, you know, Bethesda can have their own thing. We know Bethesda still has Quake Kong and, 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 and Call of Duty literally has their own reveals like uh, a day dedicated to them it's not counting other you know stuff from um, blizzard and and the activision and stuff like that uh so this year you know we're not going to get no activision stuff at e3 and stuff but this is all about you know xbox and bethesda and rumor has it shout out to randolph door 19 that every xbox studio has submitted something but it doesn't mean that everything is going to be in the showcase is 90 minutes things are going to get cut some things are going to get divvied out to the game awards some things are going to get divvied out for quake kong and maybe uh a gamescom and stuff like that or xo i think xo might be coming back xo 22 uh might be a thing so not everything needs to be you know into the show uh but i do think that this year show should focus on things that are coming this year and things that are coming next year that's what really what should, should happen so xbox game showcase uh, Xbox and Bethesda game showcase. I'm not sure if it's going to be a prediction video. My thoughts is going to change. I'm going to do a show with Attic at some point. I don't know if it's going to be playing Xbox or it's going to be the Attic show or just going to be a regular stream where we talk about our predictions. It's probably going to be closer to the show. I'm going to talk about what I want to see and what I uh, the, what we need to think, uh, what we need to see. Um, the things that should occur at this showcase on June 12th, which is a Sunday, is going to be at 10 a.m. California time, so that's 1 o'clock Eastern time, so I'm not going to be working that day, obviously. Um, so I'm loving these Sunday shows and whatnot, but I think what should uh, should occur is gameplay and release dates, at least release windows. That should happen. That should happen. So obviously, obviously looking at the image at hand, which is Xbox a logo in space with the little famous star field you know, star, um, which is going to be on the cover of the game and whatnot. Um, you know, obviously, Starfield is going to be here. We know Starfield. We already we know the release date for Starfield, so we're expecting at least at least for Forza got I think a nine minute gameplay demo. I think Starfield gets a twelve minute gameplay demo to close out the show. You either opening it or closing it. I think it closes the show, right? Because we know that game is coming out this year. But I think Starfield is going to have. A ton of stream. I think Todd Howard is going to do a stream, uh, probably days after the show, where he can to literally do his thirty minute, forty minute blowout, um, or he can, you know, he can follow a thirty minute blowout in August when they when they do QuakeCon or whatever. Um, but I think that still occurs. It just doesn't occur in this game showcase because ninety minutes. Maybe it's just over ninety minutes. Maybe it's ninety seven minutes. But I think Todd Howard does get like a twelve minute gameplay demo and this is a stream this is not a live show there's no audience so they they're cooking up the gameplay uh demo that they're going to do um in this stream um but i expect that to be here um i also um expect contraband uh to get gameplay uh and uh, be revealed for an early 2023 release i'm talking about february march quarter one 2023 contraband um since that was originally targeting 2022, and I think it was internally delayed, so we're expect I'm expecting to see contraband. Redfall was announced for summer 2022. Um, 
It sucks that next month it will be the first time we see it since uh, last year, but we've seen uh, uh, screenshots and of, of like beta testing gameplay, flight testing gameplay of this game. We've seen some rough images and we've seen some polished images uh, on a matter of a, um, a, a few months. And, and both these builds that we've seen from Redfall are relatively old. So um, this, I think the game is still going to be 2022. Will it be summer? This show takes place at the end of spring, obviously, I think the summer officially starts at the end of June. So this game, I don't see this game releasing in July. Um, I don't see it releasing in August. I think this game could be literally a mid-September release. Or they can mess with the whole uh, seasonality thing, the Halloween theme, fall. I mean, they can launch the game in early October and, like, you know, just falls out of their um, summer target and it launches in fall. But I do think Redfall comes um, in uh and either late summer, early fall uh, time frame, maybe even October. Um, so I expect to see that. But uh, obviously the release date, gameplay and release date. Forza Motorsport. Um, we saw that. That game was announced before Forza Horizon 5. We had a confirmation of Turn 10's Forza Motorsport before we got confirmation of Playground Forza's game. And Playground uh, game came out and we already played it. It's been out. So that that was a surprise. So now, I think uh, this year we're due for Turn Ten's game gameplay release date. Gameplay release date this fall. Uh, I think the I do think the three major games that are coming out for um, twenty uh, twenty two is Redfall, Forza, um, and Starfield. With some surprising, oh, not with surprise, but with some. Um, with some additional um, assistance from, like, you know, Season 3 for Halo Infinite, we'll see uh, some updates from uh, Sea of Thieves. Um, um, I'd like to see. We know Scorn is coming in October. Uh, we know Dark Tide is coming in September. Um, uh, an update uh, from Forza Horizon 5, which is another expansion, which is going to be uh, coming out. That's got to play a part. Um, Minecraft have to do something, um, hopefully. Um what else? Uh, I think, uh, and then when you factor in, uh, you you want to premiere 2023's the big games from your studios. We know the Coalition, they've been talking, they've been working with Unreal Engine. We know they're taking a break for Gears, but it, they have a rumored game coming out next year. If their game is coming out next year, it's probably going to be the big release next year. So they're going to show something um, there. I think... Um, the things I uh, struggle with is Hellblade and Avowed. I do think Avowed is coming 2023. I'm not sure if Hellblade's coming 2023. That might be 2024. Um, we just saw Hellblade at the Game Awards. Um, I don't think we see it again at this year's E3 unless it's coming early 2023. It could be a summer 2023 game. I'm not exactly sure. But Avowed, I want to see. I think Avowed is a quarter three 2023 game, and I think we see Avowed uh, for sure. I don't think we see Outer Worlds 2. I don't think we see um, uh, Project Mara. Um, I think we see a couple games from um, Obsidian, including Avowed. Um, I'm looking for a lot of things, but I think the main focus uh, should be of the show is gameplay and release dates. And I think they have to focus on everything that's coming in 2022, because by the time the show takes place, we would have already been exactly halfway through the year, and which Microsoft has not first party and its publishing team. Well, the publishing team technically released some things, but the X, Xbox as a first party has released would have released nothing up until that point. So yeah, the show has to focus on games that are actually coming this year, and then the games that are coming in the next 18 months, and that would have to include the games that are coming in early 2023, the game that's coming in quarter two, uh, uh, the second half of 23, and then your big major marquee game, which would be coming in 2023. And I don't know what's going to be the major marquee game. Is it going to be Avowed? Is it Hellblade? Is it Coalition's next game? Is it Indiana Jones? You know what I mean? Um, so there's a lot. We, we you know, we, we haven't heard from id Software since the acquisition. We know they made a next-gen version of Doom. Um, we haven't heard from Machine Games outside of the uh, Indiana Jones uh, trailer, but, you know, Wolfenstein is still technically due. Um, there's studios that ZeniMax acquired that haven't done anything. I think it's like Roundhouse Studios and uh, Alpha Dog, like, haven't heard from them. Um, we know Starfield, obviously, there. We're not sure what's going to happen with Fallout and 
and and and, and, and another with the next Elder Scrolls. There's a lot of questions that have to be answered, and which makes this show a little bit more intriguing, a little bit more exciting because there's a lot more questions. We know things typically tend to leak, so the channels I'll be watching over the next four to six weeks are Rand Althor, uh, uh, the Window Central channel, uh, uh, man, Maddie Plays, uh, Defining Duke podcast, and all that stuff, because they tend to be in the know, and, and information will trickle out shor- uh, surely um, with this stuff, but you know, you don't want everything to be leaked out, but you know, you do want that inside information of what could possibly be there, and at the end of the day, what we see is pretty much what puts it all together. So, I'm looking forward to the show. I'll probably be doing a stream. I don't know if I'll be sitting in on the ILP stream or if Planet Xbox will be hosting the stream. Uh, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking to watching it. And um, I'm looking forward to being excited and seeing what Xbox will be releasing and showing off for 2022. And see what's going to be available for 2023. Because remember, 2023 is the year everything is supposed to kind of just blow off. This is where we're going to get you no. Know, a major game every quarter and when you consider games like avowed when you consider games like hellblade 2 when you consider that coalition's working on a 2023 game when you consider you know contraband was delayed uh internally to 2023 and then you can cons- you consider that indiana jones is a possibility the perfect dark is a possibility um games that uh, uh there's studios you know who typically you know release something every two to three years and they're hitting that point we still haven't heard from compulsion I'm looking forward to this Xbox uh, showcase, and I'm happy to be an Xbox gamer today, and I'll be happier after the showcase wraps up. But that's my video. Let me know your thoughts and um, of what's going to happen here and what you're looking for and what you're hoping that Xbox does with this uh, showcase uh, uh, next month. All right? That's the video. As always, Xbox is the best box. I am the best bot. Good night or good morning if you're on the other side of the globe. I'm out of here. Peace.